Hi everyone, Stephen Kalei here again. Welcome back to my YouTube page. The message today, I was thinking a lot today and I was contemplating churches. Um, I originally, my family, um, were Catholics and um, I moved on to joining the, uh, the Pentecostal movement because I like the teachings. It's not too um, religious. Uh, which is what I'm trying to get along. Anyway, the message of this, um, the message today is, uh, do you know where you are with God or with Jesus? Now, I myself am I'm not a religious person. I'm not a holy person. I curse, I drink occasionally. Um, I might do this or that. So I'm nowhere nearly even qualified to be a pastor. Or anything um, I try to keep away from being a pastor but with something that because I, I don't think I'm worthy to preach the Word of God because it's so holy but this is my challenge to all the pastors out there um, the reason why I haven't been planted in a church is because we go to a church and we have pastors who judge people who gossip about people we have pastors who do this and that so I mean, don't get me wrong, churches are good. Churches have their meaning. We've got a lot of churches who plant seeds. They go and do outreach. They spread the gospel throughout the whole world, which is excellent work they're doing, all these churches. What I'm asking churches is, what is your relationship with God? Pastors, head of churches, what is your real relationship with God? That is the question. Now, as I've been reading the Bible back and forth, the greatest prophets, Elijah to Jesus Christ, they knew their standing with God. They never did lengthy prayers for one hour, two hours. They knew that God was with them, so they commanded things to happen. Um, Elijah just said, fill the oil jars and oil cup site. Jesus just said, Lazarus, get up and walk. And he did. The leper man, he just told him, get up. Your sins are forgiven, get up and walk. You know, those are the kind of faith that they had. Even Apostle Paul walked past people. Jesus' shadow walked past people and they were healed. So, I'm actually looking for a church that's moving with God. Now, if you're not moving with God, then there's, there's no heal signs and wonders. There's no, um, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good churches out there, but if you're not with God, why are you doing lengthy prayers and you can't heal people? Because if the power of God or Jesus Christ is with you, you will move mountains. Even what that's what Jesus said. So that's what I'm looking for in the last days. I'm looking for churches that are really with God and you know when the head pastor that says get up and walk, you get up and walk. If the blind comes to the church and the head pastor smacks your eyes and you start seeing, I mean, you are with God. So the question is to a lot of pastors, uh, churches, what is your relationship with God? Are you really with God or are you pretending to be with God? I see a lot of people, we, we go to church and all I hear about is tithes and offering. But we want to see healing. We want to see God's power move. We want to see miracles. Uh, and that's all we want. So I'm asking churches out there, what is your relationship with God? Um, I'm not saying churches are bad, but I'm putting a challenge to pastors out there. You check him, you yet. You pray now fast. You lose Mary Blue. You stop now. You. Consecrate, Lord God. Are you really concentrating on Jesus Christ? Are you like 100% like with Jesus? Is the Holy Spirit talking to you? Are you moving with God? Those are the kind of things I'm wondering. Like uh, for us followers of Christ, uh, we want to follow a pastor or a head of a church that's you know really moving with God. I mean, you're looking at signs and wonders. Christ never did lengthy prayers for one hour before he could heal you. He just commanded life to happen. He commanded leprosy to walk. He commanded a demon to come out. 
because he knew who he was so i'm checking you guys pastors and heads of churches i'm not saying you guys are doing a bad job but check yourself are you really with god or are you pretending to be with god because if you're really with god you got to have signs and wonders you got to start healing people um i want to see healing i want to see your faith and i want to see these things happen um, i'm not discrediting any pastors I, I, if your heart's in the right place or wrong i'm not to judge one thing i don't agree with is we're judging homosexuals we're judging lesbians we're judging uh, prostitutes we're judging drunkards we judge everyone um, i think a church should just preach the word anyone can come in and worship what the relationship with god that's their problem we just worry about our relationship and that's how i think churches should be run these days we shouldn't be focused on judging people and their lives let them run their own lives so this is my little rant and it gives you um my viewers out there something to think about uh, whatever church you're planted with um stay with the church i'm not telling you to leave the church but also question them um are we seeing signs and wonders? Are we seeing healing taking place? Or are we just all pretending to be with God when we're not? Are we just all gathering on Sundays and Saturdays to feel good? Uh, I don't want to gather on Sundays to feel good. I want things to happen. I want to really feel God's presence. I think that's why I have not been planted in a church. So encourage all of you guys to really find your, your true God, whoever God you worship. I, I believe and I worship God. Uh, our God, Jehovah Java, um, I think he's the only God, and uh, I just have to work on my relationship with God. Uh, I, I would love to work a relationship where I can start healing people. Go to, uh, I don't want need a ministry to do that. I don't need a jet to do that. Uh, if you're truly with God, you just go out and do the, God's work. So you don't need to be part of an organization and to be religious. But that's my view. Um, what are your views? Please comment below. Do you think churches should have moved with signs and wonders? I know a lot of pastors will there be angry at me. But uh, don't be angry. You're a man of God. Forgive. Uh, this is just to challenge you. The word of God is to challenge you. So if pastors out there, if you think you're, I'm incorrect, please comment down there. And your views. Um, are we all just wasting our time pretending to be with God? Or if you're really with God... I want to start seeing the signs. I want to start praying and fasting. Because if God's not with you, you better check yourself. Because something's not right. Because God, if God is with you, it's like this clean glass. Um, it does lick people and say, now you cups is him. How are you going to drink that water? How are you going to sell that? So that's exactly like Jesus Christ. If you have a little blemish in you, he's not going to, the Holy Spirit's going to come through you and heal people. So, uh, I think everyone's got to check themselves. If you're a man of God, or a truly man of man of woman of, woman of God, um, let's start seeing some healings. Let's start seeing people rise from the dead. Let's start. It's you guys say it all the time in church. Through him, all things are possible. So let's start doing it, guys. I'm challenging all you pastors out there. Check your relationship with God. Are you truly with God? Ding ding. Please comment below if you like this. Please like and subscribe. Thanks guys.